Hi everyone! So, it was recently brought to my attention that a movie trailer for the film titled Cats was released last month. Now, when I first saw this trailer, I didn't think much of it because, quite honestly, I didn't have my reading glasses on me. So, when I first saw this, I thought it was just a trailer for the new Lion King remake. And, you know, lions and cats have become quite fascinating to me recently because of my adoption of the carnivore diet. And I'm not telling anyone to follow this diet, I'm no nutrition expert or anything, but you have to admit that cats are pretty darn clever. So I don't think we should be dismissing anything feline related, especially considering that cats tend to be at the top of the dominance hierarchy. We don't call lions the king of the jungle for no reason after all. And it goes without saying that, well, if you become king, you're going to be getting quite a lot of attention from the ladies too. So, I see this new Cats movie as a way of inspiring and empowering young men who have no meaning or direction in their lives to finally take charge, take responsibility, and become more like Cats. In fact, I've dedicated an entire chapter to Cats in my new book, 12 Rules for Life. But, I digress. Let's take a look at this new trailer. Okay, so I think the most important thing that really stands out to me in this trailer are these very strong undertones of sexuality. You see, cats are often used as a symbol to depict femininity and sexuality, and this makes sense from an evolutionary perspective. You see, females are often seen as the gatekeepers of reproduction, which is what separates us from the other apes. You see, chimpanzee females are non-discriminant maters, whereas you and I have twice as many female ancestors as we have male ancestors. And you can imagine, this is pretty upsetting to most men. Men don't like it when women tell them that, you know, you're pretty good as a friend, but I'm not too keen on sharing my genetic material with you. And this is especially frustrating when women will try to test men by wearing makeup. And cats do a similar thing too, you know, by licking themselves in a sensual manner, or raising their butt in the air when you try to pet them. And you could also imagine this creates quite a bit of sexual tension, not only in the workplace, but even in your own home. Now, I'm not saying we should tell cats not to groom themselves. I'm just saying that I don't have all the answers. 